Hello everybody! As many of you are aware, or if you weren't already aware, the brand new Chuck E. Cheese's Roleplay Update revamp was released this past Friday. This game has been in development for nearly three years by now, and has been nothing short of a labor of love. So many amazing and talented people have helped me put this game together, and it would be absolutely nothing if it wasn't for them. To all that have helped, I am forever in debt to. I could talk about a million and more things relating to this game, but I'll cut to the chase. In this video, I will be addressing many common questions, concerns, and criticisms that the game has received. If you leave this video with a question unanswered, please feel free to leave a comment or contact me directly via Discord at my username, Fiesta Texas. I will reply to you as soon as I possibly can. Now let's get into the questions. Up first, why the name change? This has by far been the most common question I've been asked about this game, and there are many answers to it. Many people are quick to assume it's because of copyright issues, and that isn't entirely untrue, but it's not the entire truth as well. CEC Corporate has proven to be relatively lax in the past of Roblox games, as there are already many, many popular Chuck E. Cheese games on Roblox that have gone untouched for years. The bigger reason behind the name change is just that it allows me to have a little bit of extra creative freedom with my work. I obviously want the product to be as close to Chuck E. Cheese as possible, but changing little things like the stage design make the game just that little bit more unique and special to those who visit, something they can't find at any other CEC game on Roblox. I understand many people are annoyed by the different design, and that's entirely understandable, but when you really look at the wider picture, Chester looks exactly like Chucky, and that's the entire point. And the Costume Room Game Pass gives you access to some character variants that look very, very familiar to say the least. Continuing with the topic of Game Passes, that brings me to another concern that I've seen many people be vocal about. Why are the Game Passes so expensive? I understand many were used to the almost entirely free previous iteration of the game, but this has been done intricately for many reasons. Most, if not all of the profit that this game makes is invested right back into the game. This allows me to pay scripters, artists, modelers, run ads, and do many more things to ultimately make this game the best that it possibly can be. Investing in those services isn't cheap either. For example, me and Nick of ESM Entertainment were developing an Oscars game near identical in concept to what you get in Chester's. Collectively, we invested over 100,000 Robux into scripting, artwork, music, and assets into that game, and it's still never released. Some have been so quick to label the new game as a cash grab, and I can see how it looks like that at first glance, but really that's the furthest from the truth. Another common concern I've seen relating to the game passes is what you receive for your purchase. Since the game is not complete, that includes the game passes too. I have many, many cool things planned for the General Manager Game Pass, including stage and other store features, as well as a technician and all new VIP Pass. Some are angered about the old VIP Pass only giving access to the balcony, but I promise eventually, just like the classic game, you will receive all new animatronic morphs. Moving on, many people ask about the show. One of the biggest gameplay elements people loved about the classic game was being able to control the show. Being able to control it when nobody was mixing the three working songs, but I digress. I understand how much people love to take control of the animatronics and lights, as I do myself, and you are in luck. In the coming updates, all VIP server purchases will come with a controllable show GUI that will give you full control over the animatronic show and all of its elements even better controls for an even better show experience. I don't have a script for this part, so bear with me. Another issue Chester's has encountered, although very minimal, has been data loss. My friend Aaron wrote an entire new data store script to make sure that data loss would be impossible. But unfortunately, nothing is impossible, and data loss, although very rare, has happened. That includes prize purchases, credit purchases, and tickets. Don't lose your marbles just yet! If you provide me with adequate proof that you did encounter a data loss, I will be more than happy to add credits, tickets, and prizes back to your account. 
with the prizes. I do recommend if you don't see all of your prizes load in, just quickly rejoin the game. The biggest issue with the prizes I've seen is not quite all of them loading. It's happened to me before and rejoining the game should fix that. One instance of data loss is one instance too many and none of you deserve to lose any of your data that you have in the game, especially credit refills, because trust me, I know those aren't cheap. Again, data loss is a very, very minimal issue, and you should not anticipate it happening, but there's always that 1%. Just make sure that you have adequate proof of all your prizes, and I will be happy to edit your data stores again. I'm making sure that this issue stays minor and will one day be gone completely. The final point I've wanted to cover was shocking to me, but a promise I did make in the past. Some people simply like the old game better, whether it's the classic feel or the absence of Chester himself. Some have told me that they simply just prefer the classic game, and that's entirely okay. The plan from the start has been to have that legacy game open for those who want to revisit it, and that will come again in the near future. On a final, final note, gonna go off script a little bit here, Developing this game is time consuming, and it certainly isn't the easiest task in the world. Working on this game around the clock has taken me away from activities in my personal life that I've grown used to. I've lost hours of sleep on this game, and I've spent entire days behind my computer screen making sure all the worst bugs are fixed. That is not the funnest thing in the world. This has been a game almost four years in the making. The amount of support and love I've received since release has been nothing short of phenomenal. For as many people as there are happy with the game, there are many that have provided me with important constructive criticism, and many that will simply just never be happy, and that is fine. That's what I anticipated from the start. This game is for the fans. For the people who aren't fans, Chester Cheeses is for everybody, and I'm excited for what the future of this game will bring. I do want everybody to know, one final time, like the game thumbnail suggests, this game is in Early Access Alpha. Nothing that you see in the game is complete, and the game should not be viewed as a complete product. I do understand that it's, sometimes it's hard to wait for the complete product, but the game isn't polished, and that's just the truth. I did a vote, and people wanted an unpolished game over a completely polished game. If I spent time here making sure every little thing was polished before release, I don't think this game would have ever seen the light of day at all. This is truly what's best for Chesters, and truly, it's only up from here. And admittedly, I was really in a rush to release the game. If it tells you anything, the game released a week before it was planned to. I soft opened it for a reason, because I knew nothing would be perfect on that first day, and I was very, very right. If this is your first time hearing about the game even being out, I'm not surprised. Closing out the video one final time, I am forever grateful for the outpour of love and support that the game has received, and I am working tirelessly to make sure that this game is the best that it can be. Again, if I didn't answer your question, leave me a comment or shoot me a message at Fiesta Texas on Discord. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and have a Chester day. I'm never saying that again.